Today I am going to discuss on twin pregnancy. Twin pregnancy, when two fetuses are growing in the uterus simultaneously, we call it as twin pregnancy. What is the prevalence of the twin pregnancy? That is 32 per thousand live births. Why twin pregnancies is important? As the incidence of the infertility treatments and the advancing maternal age of the patients are, is increasing, there is more chances of multiple pregnancy and in turn the twin pregnancies. In the twin pregnancies, we have monozygotic twins and dizygotic twins. Among the uh, dizygotic twins, we have dichorionic diamniotic pregnancies and among the monozygotic twins, based on the day of division of the embryo, we can classify into dichorionic diamniotic twins if the division occurs between 1 to 3 days and monochorionic diamniotic twins if the division of the embryo occurs between 3 to 5 days and monochorionic monoamniotic if the division occurs between 6 to 8 days and Conjoint twins, if the division of the embryo occurs greater than 8 days, we call it as conjoint twins. Among the monochorionic diamniotic twins, the complications are more. Monochorionic diamniotic twins are called as identical twins, while dichorionic diamniotic twins constitute to the 80% of the cases and these are non-identical twins. Compared to the monochorionic diamniotic twins, the complications are less in the dichorionic twins. Among the monochorionic diamniotic twins, we have complications of monochorionic diamniotic twins such as twin to twin transmission syndrome, twin anemia polycythemia sequence, twin reversed arterial perfusion sequence and Selective fetal growth restriction and single fetal demise are more common in the monochorionic diamniotic twins compared to the dichorionic diamniotic twin. So, how we have to do oh, monitoring of these uh, multiple twin pregnancy cases is uh, first one by the ultrasound. So, the ultrasound is useful in the dating of the twin pregnancies, determining the chorionicity and the amnionicity and this dating should be done at 11 to 13 weeks, 6 days of gestational age and the determining the chorionicity is very important in the twin pregnancies as the complications of uh, MCDA twins is, are more than the DCDA twins. So, determining the chorionicity is important and it should be done before 14 weeks of gestational age because at a later gestation there will be fusion of the amnion and the chorion and the, the correct differentiation can't be done at a later gestation age and screening screening of for the chromosomal aneuploidies is done in the twin pregnancies by using the combined test in the combined test by using the ultrasound we have to check the nt nuchal translucency and with combining this with a double marker test we get the combined risk which is used for estimating the risk of chromosomal anomalies the timing and frequency of the monitoring of the twin gestation is important in the case of monochorionic diamniotic twins, after doing the uh, combined test at 11 to 13 weeks of gestational age, we have to do monitoring of the MCDA twins from 16 weeks of gestational age every 2 weeks. That in the case of a dichorionic diamniotic twins, we do the combined screening test NT scan along with a um, double marker test at 11 to 13 weeks 6 days of gestational age and anomaly scan at 20 weeks of gestational age and thereafter every 4 weekly we have to monitor these pregnancies. So ultrasound is useful in the diagnosis of twin pregnancies and determining the complications like a TTTS, TAPS and the TRAP sequence and selective fetal growth restriction and staging of these complications and for the management of these cases based on the uh, staging. So ultrasound is a good screening method and it should be done at the proper center by the trained fetal medicine specialist. Thank you.